Hi, in this video I will show you how to integrate MailChimp with your plugin ops forms. For this you will need any premium plan of plugin ops and a MailChimp account. To start first edit your form, go to integrations tab and open MailChimp options panel. Here enable the MailChimp option then you will need list ID and API key. These two informations can be found in your MailChimp account. First we'll find the API key. To find the API key, open your MailChimp account, click on your username on, on the top bar, then click on account, then click on this extras tab and then click on API keys. Here if your account is new there won't be any API keys but if you've already created a key it will show up here so I'm going to create a key and once created you can see here make sure the status of your key is enabled or on then select your key go back to edit landing page and paste your API key here once you've done that now we'll see how we can find the list ID option. For this go back to your MailChimp account and click on this audience tab. Here click on this manage audience drop down and click on this settings button. Here the, select the first option audience name and defaults And your audience ID or list ID should be right here. This is my list ID for this list. I'm going to copy it and paste it in the landing page. Make sure you don't paste this dot. So I'm going to remove it. Then save the landing page. Preview it. Now I'm going to use a test email and submit the form so as you can see it showed the success message to confirm you can open your web browser console and see the results here you can see the MailChimp result is success so let's go to our MailChimp account to verify that, that this email address has been added or not I will open I have opened my MailChimp account now I will go back to the overview page here I can see the subscribe context is now one if I click on it if I click on it it will show up in my list or audience of my MailChimp account this was the basic integration of MailChimp with your plugin ops forms now we'll, uh, now I will go towards the more advanced one where we will map the fields of a MailChimp audience with plugin ops form. So right now in our form there is only one field which is email address. Here I will go and add more fields to my MailChimp account. So I'm now in audience field, audience fields page and here we can add a new field. Make sure when you integrate a, a list or audience with plugin ops forms, only the email address field is required. Don't check any other field as required. So let's start by adding a new field called message. So to, to sync the fields with, with plugin ops forms, you need to use these names in the plugin ops form. So let's start by setting the label as message, copying it, and I will also use the same text here as message, and then I will copy it, save the changes, go back to the added landing page. Here we have only one field in the form, and so I'll add a new field. And in this field, I will uh, use the same name I use here which is message 
in the field name option and I'll paste this save this save the landing page reload it save the landing page reload it and let's test again And I will enter the message hello. Submit the form. The form was sent successfully. Now let's see in our audience. So in our audience, Kim had been added. So when I click on it to view, see extra information. Here we, I can see the values of other fields and in message it's hello. So that's it. That's how you can integrate MailChimp with your plugin ops forms. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at pluginops.com. Thank you.